Arapaima. Arapaima, also known as Pairuku or Paiche, are gigantic carnivorous fish that live in the Amazon and surrounding lakes. Encased in armored scales, they think nothing of living in piranha-infested waters, and they are pretty effective predators themselves, feeding on fish and the occasional bird. Arapaima tend to stay close to the surface because they need to breathe surface air in addition to taking in oxygen through their gills and make a distinctive coughing sound when they emerge for air. They can reach 2.7 meters and weigh up to 90 kilograms. These fish are so vicious that even their tongue has teeth. Giant Otter Heading up the exactly what it says on the tin category are the giant otters, who, as their name suggests, are very large otters. They are the longest examples of the weasel family, with adult males reaching up to 2 meters from head to tail. Their diet primarily consists of fish and crabs, which they hunt in family groups of 3 to 8 members, and they can eat up to 4 kilograms of seafood per day. Don't be fooled by their cute looks though, they are more than a match for the other animals on this list, with groups of them having been spotted killing and eating an anaconda. They hold their own against caiman as well. One family was seen devouring a 1.5 meter caiman, which took them about 45 minutes. While their numbers are dwindling, mainly due to human intervention, they are among the most capable predators in the Amazon rainforest, hence their local name of river wolves. Kandiru. The Amazon doesn't only breed giants, and the small creatures are just as terrifying, at least if you believe the stories that surround them. Kandiru are small, parasitic, freshwater catfish, famous for launching themselves up the urethra of anyone foolish enough to urinate in the river, and getting lodged into the urinary tract because of the spines that run along their backs. While documented cases are rare, and there is some debate over whether these types of injuries occur at all, there is at least one documented case of a man requiring surgery to remove a kandiru from his urethra, which had also attempted to burrow through to his testicles. However, the kandiru usually preys on fish, attaching themselves to the larger fish's gills with their spines and feeding on their host's blood. Bull sharks. While technically ocean-dwelling saltwater animals, bull sharks are quite at home in fresh water too. They have been found as far down the Amazon as Iquitos in Peru, almost 4,000 kilometers from the sea. They have special kidneys that can sense the change in salinity of the surrounding water and adapt accordingly. And you do not want to meet one of these in the river. It is common for them to reach 3.3 meters, and there have been reports of sharks weighing 312 kilograms. Like many sharks, they have several rows of sharp triangular teeth and immensely powerful jaws. They're also quite partial to a bit of human, being one of the most frequent attackers of people. Combined with their habit of living near densely populated areas, this has led many experts to label them the most dangerous sharks in the world. Electric eels. Electric eels are actually more closely related to catfish than eels, but you probably wouldn't want to get close enough to one to find out. They can grow up to 2.5 meters and can produce jolts of electricity from specialized cells called electrocytes arranged down their flanks. These charges can reach up to 600 volts, five times the charge of an average American plug socket, and enough to knock a horse off its feet. While one shock isn't enough to kill a healthy adult human, multiple shocks can cause heart or respiratory failure, and it's common for people to be stunned and drown after an eel attack. Many of the disappearances recorded in the region have been attributed to eels that have stunned their victims and left them to drown in the river. Luckily for our species, the eels, while carnivorous, tend to stick to eating fish, amphibians, birds, and small mammals. They locate their prey by sending out small, 10-volt shocks from their electrocyte cells before stunning or killing them with larger shocks. Black caiman. A black caiman is basically an alligator on steroids. They can grow up to 6 meters, with bigger, heavier skulls than Nile crocodiles, and are the apex predator in the Amazonian waters. That means they are basically the kings of the river. They eat nearly anything they can get their teeth into, including piranhas, monkeys, perch, deer, and anaconda. They totally attack humans. In 2010, a biologist named Daisei Nishimura was attacked by a caiman while cleaning a fish on her houseboat, and while she managed to fight it off, it took one of her legs with it. This particular caiman had been living under her houseboat for eight months, evidently waiting for the chance to strike. Green Anaconda The largest snake in the world makes its home in the Amazon, the anaconda. While reticulated pythons are actually longer, green anaconda are far heavier. The females, generally larger than males, can reach 250 kilograms, grow to 9 meters. They are not venomous, but instead use their immense muscular power to constrict and suffocate their prey, which includes capybara, deer, caiman, and even jaguars. Preferring shallower waters that allow them to stealthily sneak up on their prey, they tend to live in offshoots of the Amazon rather than the river itself. Red-bellied piranhas. The quintessential terror of the Amazon River, so widely feared that they have inspired a number of questionable Hollywood movies, 
red-bellied piranhas are actually primarily scavengers. That's not to say they won't attack healthy creatures. After all, given that they can grow to be over 30 centimeters and swim around in large groups, they tend to be more than a match for most animals. Like all piranhas, red bellies have incredibly sharp teeth. One row on each of their powerful upper and lower jaws, these teeth are interlocking, which makes them perfect for tearing and rending the flesh of their prey. Their fearsome reputation mainly comes from sites of their feeding frenzies, where groups of piranhas will congregate on their unlucky prey and strip it to the bone within minutes. These attacks are rare and are usually the result of starvation or provocation. Pyara Vampire Fish Anything with the name Vampire Fish should automatically be recognized as scary, even after Twilight, and Pyara are no exception. They are absolutely ferocious predators, capable of devouring fish up to half their own body size. Given that they can grow up to 1.2 meters, this is no mean feat. A large part of their diet is made up of piranhas, which should give you some idea of how tough these fanged fiends can be. They get their name from the two tusks that sprout from their lower jaw, which can grow up to 15 centimeters, in which they use to literally impale their prey after viciously lunging at them. Their fangs are so big, in fact, that they have special holes in their upper jaw to avoid impaling themselves. Paku One animal certain to be far more terrifying to men than to women, the paku is a much larger relative of the piranha, known for its distinctive, human-like teeth. Unlike most of the creatures on this list, the paku is actually omnivorous, and a good part of its diet is comprised of fruit and nuts. Unfortunately for some paku, nuts may not only mean things that drop from trees. Yes, that's right. Paku are alleged to have occasionally bitten off the testicles of male swimmers, with reports of men in Papua New Guinea being killed by paku after the fish apparently mistook their genitalia for an easy snack. And don't worry if you can't make it to the Amazon to see these manhood masticating monsters, because they're already spreading into Europe. Poison dart frog. These brightly colored frogs are among the most toxic creatures on Earth. Their coloration serves to warn potential predators. Some species toxin is so virulent that merely touching the animal can deliver a lethal dose. As a general rule, the more brightly colored a poison dart frog, the more powerful its venom, which is why the predators of the Amazon river basin stay far away from iridescent green or orange species. These frogs don't manufacture their own venom, but collect it from the ants, mites, and other insects that constitute their diet, as evidenced by the fact that poison dart frogs kept in captivity and fed other types of food are much less dangerous. The dart part of this amphibian's name derives from the fact that indigenous tribes across South America dip their hunting darts in its venom. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.